guys, I'm back with a new video. Um, I'm just gonna use my new tripod, tripod, so it's gonna be very, very difficult. So, um, this video is very important to me. It's an update on my life. I've been doing so much of them. I've been really expressing of how many things will be going on in my life. Um, starting with the good, I got accepted to school. I'm doing hospitality and tourism. I'm so excited. Start this September of 2015 in the fall. Um, and I have a new job. It's doing perfectly fine. I'm enjoying life and Christmas is coming up soon and I'm turning 21 2015. I'm so scared. In September, I'm so scared to turn 21 years old. Um, I'm still with my boyfriend for a year and a half. I'm going, hopefully going on for two years in June. Um, I don't know how to phrase this. Um, during the time I lost my dog on June 16th, 2014, 8.30 p.m., I had a problem of not accepting he passed away. I think everybody has that feeling when your dog passed away or anybody else who passed away in your life. I truly never lost anybody in my life except for my dog who passed away in my arms. I was so upset. I didn't really express it in my, up, my updated video in October. I don't know how to phrase it, but today I'm going to phrase it of how I felt in my heart. In my heart, it was broken a million pieces. I didn't know what to do. I was stuck in my mind. I always thought that getting a new one would be hard, easier. But going back, going backwards where it would happen, I wouldn't want to happen again. So I decided not to get a dog before right now because I'm not ready for one. And truly, if your mind is not ready, you should never force yourself. Never force yourself to do something that you don't want to do. I want another dog. I want a cat for growing one. I just don't want a cat. But I don't want to get an animal right now because I'm not ready. I'm still heartbroken that he passed away. I'm stronger than I was ever before. Having that happen in my life made me realize that I don't want to put anything on hold anymore. I want to let you all let all go out and start a new life. Try that once. My friend just had her baby and it's amazing. She has a happy life. Everybody's happy, happy in life but me when I found out my pat dog passed away. It was like the end of the world, end of the era, 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 and end of the life with me. I thought to myself when I wrote something in my journal, it will make me feel better. But clearly, it didn't. When he passed away, I was so sad that I locked my room for 12 hours. I come out for lunch, dinner, and breakfast. And when, in between those times, I went in my room. I was so alone. I felt to myself that everybody around me says, I understand how you feel. Between a human passing away to a pet passing away, they're totally different, but they do affect your life. I always say to myself, if you have not gone through it, don't say, I understand. So if your friend's having a bad day and you know what they're understanding, you say, are you okay? Is there any way I can help you? But don't go soon and say, I totally understand how you feel. Just kind of approach it how somebody wants to approach you. Sorry, woman. And I got that so many times and I clearly think that a lot of my, a lot of my friends are supportive. But... Going back in time again, I felt like one of them always says, I understand how you feel. One of them. They, it's hard to help somebody if you don't understand. I'm horrible showing emotion. I'm horrible telling how I feel. So, I decided to write my own kind of journal telling everybody how I feel. It worked out to be perfectly fine. I'm still writing in that journal. But I want to tell you one thing that I learned from grieving, denial, angry, and a little bit stressed out. If you do not hang out with anybody for one week, you will go crazy. I went insane for one day. And then after I was 
hanging out with my friends, goofing around. They're trying to get their mindset, my mindset of off stuff. I went to see a movie, got went to the mall, got my favorite Bath and Body products, and of course, they kept me out of the dog stuff. So if you if you see one of your friends going through something like I've just gone through, you make their mind go a different direction. Don't make their mind think of what just happened. Make their mind go through a different direction because if you don't do that, their mindset would be, what can I do? How can I save his, their life? I don't know what to do. I'm going back to the same mind. I have somebody talking in my head. I don't know. Everybody has those moments that something happened in their life. Something tragic or terrified or even given a car crash. But that's a whole different story that I will tell you about later. Um, so you want to help them? Do never say this word unless you're gone through it. I understand how you feel. If you say that, you say what you want to say. Don't leave it in a question mark because knowing you guys, people out there, they do not like leaving like this. So I totally understand how you feel. How? But they don't answer. Don't ever say that. But if you do understand how you feel, just say, I am, I lost somebody. I lost a pet. I understand how you feel, how horrible it is, but I want to keep your mind away from all what happened. I did that for a very long time. I even got a tattoo to remind my dog, and I came with, I went with my best friend. My best friend came with me, and we watched, we watched a movie, and we had our old time laughs. That's what a friend's supposed to be like. Do not get one of those friends that says, I don't want to do this because your mind is crazy. Um, my boyfriend supported me because he did pass, he saw my dog pass away. He was the most supportive person ever. Including my parents, my mom, my dad, and a lot of my best friends. But I'm going to clarify, two of my friends, two of my best, oh, f four of my best friends, I clarify as my four best friends, they are so supportive. I know this is kind of an awkward video update on my life. I just want to tell you the truth. That's okay to be upset. Up updating in your life is amazing how hard it is. Do never in your life think that you're doing something wrong. If you end up getting bullied or end up getting stressed out, go to your happy place. Picture your happy place. So, I just want you to set this point straight that everybody is a different person. Update on my life. Coming out, of, coming out of a life that you don't know who you are. Clearly, it's hard to understand through a camera. I'm talking to a camera, but I'm clearly talking to myself, knowing, giving advice. If you guys want to know more about what's going on in the real world, the internet, I'm kidding. To always ask your friends. If you're alone, you have no friends, always ask, <laughs> I'm sorry, always ask your parents. If you do have friends, they're busy, they're out of town. There's a phone, if you don't, there's a phone, Facebook, and Skype. But if you don't have, if you have all of those features, say, call up your friends and say, hey, um, I need help. I don't know what I'm going through. I know you understand. But if they say, I don't understand, just explain your situation. Don't let it go. Bye-bye. So, this is a video. I don't know what it was happened. I thought it was an update video, but apparently I do advice. This is um, a lifetime advice video because I know what people go through in time. When you have somebody that passed away or you're just having a very, very bad day. I think everybody has bad days. But clearly... We all have one thing in common. We're all human. Humans get emotional, depressed, anxiety, and stress. So this video is clarifying to everybody who has that. So if you guys want more advice videos by me, you can you can find me or do any thumbs up for this video. In a couple months or a couple weeks, I might do another advice video. So thank you so much for watching this video, and please subscribe to this video. I've never done an advice video. I'm not an expert of advisor, but I do want to clarify this. Everybody is different. Everybody's human. 
Everybody has different personalities. So, I want to leave this with a question mark. What is your time when you are stressed or you just want to be with your best friend and have a lot of fun? So, I'm going to go now. I got to go video. <laughs> I got to go edit my videos. I'm actually uploading two videos right now, so I'm excited. And I did my Christmas advent calendar, number day 18. So, thank you so much for watching this video. And please, please put your hands up. Dance. Dance party. And... <laughs> And know how you feel like every time. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to me. And I will see you tomorrow with a new surprise in your hands, my dear. So this is a, the end of my video. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow, my lovers. <laughs> Goodbye.